Hey guys, I'm Ryan Naylor and this is a lesson on some bass note strumming. Uh, this is an accompanying video to my lesson that I did on uh, Daughter's song Run. And what I want to do in this video is to kind of break down the technique that's used there. Um, and then you can look to apply this to any chord progression you've got at all. Basically, what we do, instead of strumming everything constantly, we're kind of picking out the bass notes. So the first thing you want to know is uh, exactly where the bass notes to each chord is. Now, um, generally, uh, chords like G is coming off the sixth string, as is E's and E minors. Okay, so G's and E's off the sixth string. A's and C's, A's, B's and C's will come off the fifth string, so A minor or C, or variants of a C. And then off the fourth string, you've got your D's and possibly your F chords, okay? So you wanna be ultra confident first with where the bass notes are, okay? And then, when you've got yourself a progression, let's take that kind of opening progression I did for you. We had a G chord going to a kind of a C variant, a C add nine, which would be one of my chords of the day. I put that on my Instagram feed recently, look out for that. Uh, going to E minor, then to a D. Okay, so this technique, what we do is we pick the bass note and then we strum the chords. It's bass, strum, bass, strum, bass, strum. Let's just start there, okay? So it's one and two and three and four and one and two and three. And when you change chord, bass note is on the D string, back to the G. So you spend some time doing just that with kind of an eighth note figure and you're going to just work on getting picking accuracy. So get in really close, nice and slowly. Now what can help sometimes is if you do a rest stroke, that's when the pick comes through the string you are picking and comes to rest on the string below. So that puts your strumming pick in a good position to strum the chord. And it also gives you a nice quality to that picked note, nice tone on there. That kind of idea, all right? Now once you're confident with that, you can look to build the tempo bit by bit. But what we have in uh, the daughter tune is a kind of a 16th note strum. So in addition to the down, we're gonna add some up, up strum. So my hand is doing the 16th notes. One, two, three, four. Now notice with this example, my hand is kind of small, small strums here, not big not big movements here. So taking this example, we can have bass, strum, bass, up, down, up, bass, strum, bass, up, down, up. Notice the strumming hand never stops moving, okay? It's a key to this sort of thing. So bass, strum, bass, up, down, up, bass, strum, bass, C chord. Without looking, it's a bit tricky, but especially on the D chords, getting that pick right in the middle of the strings is a little demanding. But that's the technique, so you want to take it nice and slow. So bass, strum, bass, up, down, up, bass, strum, bass, up, down, up. And then you can look to apply that to any chord progression you know, you just be sure that you're picking the right bass note. So there you go, I hope you found that helpful. If you did, do not forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not part of the family. Go and check out my daughter tutorial on their song Run, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.